My name is Ming Liu. I'm working for U.S. Navy, NAFA uh, expert in the Southern California. Uh, today we we'll talk about the blast load prediction for low explosive in the confined constru construction uh, concrete con construction. So when we design the concrete structure for the blasting load, we we'll talk about the shock wave and the gas pressure for the high uh, explosive detonation. But when we go to the low explosive, it's very natural people say get the TNT equivalencies. And uh, so then we design for HD1 uh, high explosive use the same way. So this presentation, uh, this is in the ACI 3.7 uh, doc document. I'm a voting member of the committee. I'm changing those ones because today I will show you it's not the case. So basically, um, DN TNT equivalency doesn't work for low explosive. So first, I have a two slide, just hazard classification and what is a low explosive. And uh, then I will show you interesting the, the measure, the real pressure and time history from real testing. Then I talk about the difference, 1.3 and 1.1 detonation. And uh, one slide about the modeling, uh, computer modeling, about the internal pressure. Then. I will go to a little bit of very simple idea, gas law to get uh, internal pressure. Very simple. Place. You just need a high school knowledge to learn that. Okay. Hazard classification. So for the whole hazard materials, the UN has a nine classification. For explosive, it will talk about the one. That's why we have a 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. 1 this is all about explosive. So for the low, for the 1.1, here we call the high explosive, which is detonation, and the mass detonation explosive. 1.3 is mass fire, no much blast. And uh, that's a different thing. Now, why are we doing this? Because it's in the past, how many years, uh, in the 100 years, we, we look at explosive accident, 75 because of the fire, thermal cause ignition. Then HD 1.3 low explosive is about 11% weight for Navy uh, inventory. It's based on 10 years record. And uh, the most important things, 1.1 and 1.3 are totally different things. Here is very interesting. This is a real tested data. So I want to point out the vertical is pressure is within the 36 uh, psi. Horizontal detonation is the time duration. From starting or wipe down is the uh, is one second. The whole the duration is about is about one second. From the zero jump to the top, and uh, we have a photo when they burn the weapons the material inside and where does it come from. The duration is totally different than the 1.1 detonation. You know, detonation, we talk about milliseconds, and the microsecond, that range. And here is a second. I will do the comparison later. So this is a real test. It's going to represent the different phase and uh, what the behavior of, of the, my structure. This is a concrete structure with a two meter by two meter the cubicle. And we have a, the, the door, the open, the round open in front, or otherwise is confined. So that's what what we really get. We also did the one test. Not we did a test on the ISO container. Steel ISO container is uh, you see we put the material inside is uh, eight eight feet by eight feet by twenty feet long. We put it we it, it inside. We burn. This is uh, the first one is 20 seconds after it started burning, and we go 20, uh, 39 seconds, 55 seconds, the burn. The key point you take from here, the duration of this burning is much, much longer than detonation. So that's why they make a difference. Now from ISO container, we put all the sensor, eight sensor is different location. Look at the, the, when the, Horizontal is time, and the vertical is pressure. 
On the very beginning, before the door to open, you see eight pressure sensor measured almost the same pressure, which that means there's no spatial variation. So basically, just like a pressure rise vessel, like a balloon. So they're starting to build up the uh, the pressure inside ISO container. Once door is open, we have more oxygen. We have everything come out and starting building and until the uh, the breakup hole uh, the door section. Once again, look at the time history. Is all also on the 1.5 second duration from starting to go to the top. So this has never happened for detonation for 1.1. That's the difference. So this one I show you. Oh, there's a corner after the burning. We did a 3D scan. That's what what happened after the burn of the ISO container. So this one I try to compare 1.1. So did you see the, the, the red one is pressure go right away, go, go to the top, come down. So 1.3 is no, it's gradually, gradually go up and come down because it, everything is open now. This one is come down and uh, look at the time history. It's a mill, millisecond. It's not a second. So when you look at it, it's 0 0.05 seconds which is uh, 20 times faster than 1.3. That makes the difference. So this to the comparison is uh, the left-hand side is 1.1 and the right-hand side is 1.3 burning. Did you see the time duration? And the vertical is peak pressure. It's huge when 1.1 detonation can generate huge peak pressure. And the uh, uh, 1.3 will be much less. Look at it, there's a log scale, and uh, so it's it, it's totally different. Why we do the TNT equivalency? There's no no reason for that. Here is slide is talk about computer simulation. It's very complex. It's by the combustion side, not my background. They run like two or three weeks. I don't know what they're doing from China Lake. They they have a group. So. Once again, you see the time history is second in the range, and the vertical is the pressure. Keep in mind, the, in the end, those pressure keep constant. It's not coming down because of temperature, because the only come down is when the temperature come up, and they will come down. Otherwise, it stay there forever. So the, just like a balloon, you know, it's not big. So that's different. Detonation never happened when two gun come down. So this, of course, is computer simulation. When you look at the number and the vertical, this is assumed the com container is have a unlimited strength. In reality, when you reach the 36 psi, your concrete, your box, your box already break up. So we never happen get get that long. Those things, this come from the testing. So when you go up and come down, that's what the computer, computer simulation can tell you. And uh, so that's what I would say it's, it's totally different, two things. You have five minutes? Okay. So this one actually just very fast running model, which means if you run the computer model I just show you, it take about two or three weeks, nobody can afford it. This one just give you an idea, uh, gas law, because when you have a confine, you burn inside, there's a very simple equation. Internal pressure times your volume divided by your internal temperature is the constant value, is a function of your weight and uh, how much energy you put in inside your container. So this is all combusting, very basic idea. Also, many uh, parameters are the constants, so you can see that. So when you plug in all the number in, you find out if I have a, have a container is is uh, no venting, it just box. Your internal pressure is a function of your loading density. 
So it's, it's just clock the number. 500K is assumed the temperature inside the maximum. We measure that the temperature is, is, is in that range. For the, for the, for the steel, iso it could, could be by over 1,000 degrees. So it's different material, different scenario, you have different number. For concrete one, we plug in the 500. So, but saying that, so if like this container, if I just burn like less than the 17 pounds material inside, I don't worry, worry about the breakup because assume the 35 PSI, and this will, will hold up. The pressure will be hold up less than 35 PSI. So if I have a fringe panel, they open up every 10 PSI, I only can burn five, five pounds. That's how we uh, find those numbers. Another uh, magazine, uh, Earth Cover magazine, because it's all about the volume, all about the temperature inside. So if we do the typical Earth Cover magazine, we can only 100, uh, 350 pounds, and uh, if we assume 35 psi. If only 10, your fancy panel only burn like 100 pounds, so it will open up. That's very simple uh, confined structures without any venting. So if we have a hole, the venting, the hot gas get out of the, the container, so then see how much gas Hot gas can out of, and at the same time, when you burn the material, how much energy, how much heat you can get in. That's a competition. So that's have a choke flow. What that means, because when you have to burn more, more hot gas get out, but on a certain point, they choke. That means the velocity keep constant, but you burn more, it just, at unit time, you just got a certain amount. So that's why you structure break up very quickly. That's a two scenario. So this show you the the red one. Look at the red one is the velocity. This is the maximum one. Depend on your temperature inside, whatever you can assume is constant. It's, it's uh, if on choke is at a, a ratio of the outside and inside the pressure di different, there's another parameter. So just take it away. So what we ca can calculate, how much air get out and the unit of delta T time and your area of opening and the time some uh, coefficient, you know how much air get out. So when you calculate your internal pressure, you just subtract those uh, volume. So that's how you get it. Those equation, uh, just the same thing. And uh, then we find out this internal uh, pressure is a function of the mass burning rate, which means how fast your material burn inside can get energy in the out, because outside uh, exists hot air is already fixed on the maximum choke. One, one minute. Okay. So I'm going to the conclusion. This is a just a very basic conclusion. And uh, so I think that's an important conclusion here. First, because ISO container testing will show you when you burn low explosive in the confined space, it's like pressurized vessel. It's not detonation, it's called the defragration. So because I see that every sensor have the same pressure curve, right? So, so in that case, we have to design your structure as a static low or the quarter static. It's not dynamic low. The reason for the detonation 1.1 can use the dynamic effect. We use the curve no longer because it lasts forever. That's very important. The difference. And uh, finally, say the duration is I just said 100 times, maybe 20 times. Uh, for the 1.3 versus 1.1. So the left-hand side is very famous shock wave go the gas that we're using for detonation. If you do the TNT equivalent, you're going to the left-hand side. The in reality, where measurement is in the middle, it goes slowly, gradually up, and the computer simulation also 
So that's why TNT equivalence doesn't work for low exhaust. And I just mentioned how you get internal pressure is a function of your master burn rate. This master burn rate and the moment, particularly close to the rupture moment, very complex. Is the oxygen there? Is the air dynamic there? It's kind of a curtain, turbo inside. It's not an easy way to estimate that number. So that's what we, I did that five years ago. I never published because I thought I do not have the best solution. But today I just show you. I know somebody right now is ongoing TNT equivalencies. Um, maybe they publish. I, I just against for that. That's all. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Any question?